Today's story is Roly Poly by Mem Fox and Jane Dyer. Thank you to Beach Lane Books, an imprint of Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing Division, for permission to read today's story. Roly Poly Once upon a time, way up near the top of the world, there lived a polar bear named Roly Poly. He had a father and a mother, but no sister or brother. The bed he slept in was his bed and his alone. The fish he caught were his fish and his alone. The walrus tooth he played with was his walrus tooth and his alone. Life was grand. Then one morning, Roly Poly found a perfect stranger sharing his very own bed. Who is that? he asked. A little brother, said his father. His name is Monty. A little brother, said Roly Poly, but I never asked for a little brother, and I don't want one now. I know, said his mother, but we think you will but we think you will adore him. Roly Poly put his nose in the air and pretended not to hear. Monty tumbled all over him. Hey, said Roly Poly, don't do that. I never asked for a little brother and I don't want one now. He stood up and stormed off. Later, Monty sat on him. Hey, said Roly Poly, don't do that. I never asked for a little brother and I don't want one now. He stood up and stormed off again. I'm coming too, said Monty. Roly Poly put his nose in the air and pretended not to hear. A little later, Roly Poly caught a fish. He was just about to eat that fish when Monty grabbed it from him. Hey, said Roly Poly, don't do that. I never asked for a little brother and I certainly don't want one now. He stormed off again, clutching the walrus tooth tightly to his chest. I'm coming too, said Monty. Roly Poly put his nose in the air and pretended not to hear. Monty crept up behind Roly Poly and snatched the walrus tooth right out of his paws. Get lost, yelled Roly Poly. Get lost right now. At precisely that moment, the ice beneath them groaned and cracked and broke in two. Monty began to drift away. Roly Poly put his nose in the air and pretended not to notice. The gap in the ice grew wider. Help, cried Monty. Help! Roly Poly pretended not to hear. Help, cried Monty again at which point Roly Poly could bear it no longer. Don't cry, little Monty, he called out. Please don't cry. I'm on my way. And he leaped into the icy sea. From that day onward, believe it or not, and in spite of everything, Roly Poly and his little brother lived happily ever after. Well, mostly. The end.